In this video, we'll be discussing about the physiology and biochemistry of cheetah. While we will be more focused towards the fact that how cheetah sprints so fast, what's the science behind that? First of all, let's see the structure of cheetah, because it's the structure of cheetah which makes the cheetah fastest land animal. We see cheetah has got some enhanced or modified structures to acquire such high speeds to cruise through the air, so that it acquires lethal and breathtaking speeds. First thing we see here is that it has got modified musculoskeletal system. Second thing is that it has got enhanced respiratory system. And finally we see its vision is almost as lethal as eagle's eye. First let's go back to the musculoskeletal system. In musculoskeletal system, first thing we see is that it has got long flexible spine. The spine of cheetah is proportionally the longest and the most flexible of any large cat species. So this spine is important while sprinting. It flexes like a spring and provides a propulsive forces. And with this, a cheetah can achieve 7 meter strides at times and it remains almost half a time in air during its run. Second thing we see here, it has got small head. In order to reduce the air resistance, the head of cheetah is so small which cruises through the air while sprinting. And the third important thing is the structure of tail, which happens to be long and flexible with which cheetah is able to steer and it uses it as a rudder and balancing structure. And the most important of all is the strong hind limbs of cheetah, which are so enormous and are embedded with fast twitch fibers that powers its sprint. These fast twitch fibers have the shortest contraction time of all the fibers present in its body. Another modification is in the form of respiratory system, where we see it has got large nostrils, sinuses and enhanced lungs. These structures supply the oxygen during sprint, although most of its energy comes from anaerobic respiration, but still the slow twitch fibers need oxygen to generate the ATPs. And finally, the last modification comes from its vision in the form of visual streak, where we see the cheetah eyes has got the high concentration of neural cells arranged in a band at the center of eyes. And due to this physiological modification that we call as visual streak, the cheetah is able to keep a focus on its prey while sprinting in high speeds. Here in this diagram, you can see all the structures that are modified in cheetah. A small head, long spine, tail and hind limbs that are embedded with fast twitch fibers. Now let's look at the muscles in cheetah, in which we find two types of fibers, slow twitch fibers and fast twitch fibers. Let's see the differences between them first. Slow twitch fibers are present in neck and front legs and are used in walking, while as fast twitch fibers are present in its hind limbs and its spine also, and these are used when the cheetah sprints, and these fibers provide the fast bursts of power. An important thing to remember here is that slow twitch fibers generates ATP via aerobic respiration, while as the fast twitch fibers generates ATP via anaerobic respiration. You can see in this picture. When a cheetah starts to sprint, initially the slow twitch fibers are used, but immediately when cheetah requires immense bursts of power, it shuts down the slow twitch fibers and the fast twitch fibers takes on and generates the ATP. Slow twitch fibers have low power production and force production, whereas fast twitch fibers have high force as well as high power production. That's why they are used during the sprint, during the high bursts of power. So in this chart, you can see the properties of slow twitch fibers, fast twitch fibers type 1 and fast twitch fibers type 2. And it's these fast twitch fibers type 2 that are present in cheetah. And by these fast twitch fibers type 2, the cheetah is able to run so fast, so fast because its contraction type you can see, it's very fast. Contraction time is very fast. But the resistance to fatigue is very low in fast twitch fibers type 2. That's why cheetah stops after a short run because the cheetah feels fatigue after a short run and glycogen reserves are very high in type 2 fast fibers and force production is also very high as comparing to the slow twitch fibers. The fact why cheetah stops after a short run lies in its metabolic pathway used by these fast twitch fibers. These fast twitch fibers make use of anaerobic respiration, anaerobic cellular respiration, without using the oxygen, they produce the ATPs. So the production of ATPs without using the oxygen is the anaerobic 
respiration or anaerobic glycolysis so during the anaerobic glycolysis the excess pyruvate produced is converted into lactic acid which accumulates in blood and causes acidosis and by this acidosis the cheetah feels fatigue that's why these fast twitch fibers are not also resistant to fatigue and this is the reason why cheetah stops after a short run there is another reason why cheetah stops is that some part of the energy is lost in the form of heat so this heats up the cheetah cheetah's temperature gets up to 40 to 41 degrees celsius cheetah has to stop to lower its temperature to its normal level that's why cheetah stops I hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks